Yeah, what up, folks? We back out again with another video by DJ Mobile Auto Services. This customer came in with his H100. I believe it has a 4D56 engine in it. All right, um, same thing, similar to the L200. And customer said that they're driving along and they basically lost power and they hear us like a loud rattling coming from the engine. So they towed it to the shop, right? So the first thing I want to do is to do a relative compression test just to verify that all the mechanicals are good. Okay, let's start. Stop. So we know that's a mechanical fault. So we're just going to check our compression real quick. Right, that doesn't sound too promising. So I'm going to remove the fuel line um, so I could do the test. Right, I'm going to hook onto the battery pole. This is a quick test, you know, before I go down in the engine and let the customer know what is wrong with their vehicle. I just do a compression test. This is a, you know, overall um, view of what's going on mechanically in the engine, right? So let me just set it up for y'all. Head on current. So as I said, this is, you know, straight to the point, right? Um, as you can see here, I'm getting green, um, which is good. Yellow is borderline and well, red is no good. So I'm, I'm not sure what cylinder is having an issue. Let me come on, let me go in the shade so you can see better. Right, I'm not sure what cylinder has the issue, but you know, as I said, it's hooked on the battery pole and I got a quick, you know, overview of mechanically if the engine is have compression or not. Right, and it doesn't look like it have any, you know, or it lacking in some cylinders. So we're going to get the okay from the customer and we're going to go down in this engine and take it from there. Right, so let me just talk to the customer first and see what's good. Hold on. All right, so when we went down the engine, we just saw we found the rocker is basically, you know, damaged. You see, number three is missing the rocker. Um, it basically broke straight off, you know. Um, this is how we found it, and yeah, we got a it damaged the camshaft also and other components. So I'm gonna let the customer know, hey, um, this this it needs some attention, you know, drastically, right? So I'm gonna replace the head with all those components because. We're not gonna get a camshaft for this, and you know, and hopefully everything should work out right. And also, you can see that the timing jump because it had excessive oil in where the timing belt was, right? And they replace they actually replaced this head before and valves, and basically doing the same thing again, right? So trust me, man, you gotta change your oil on time. You gotta see about your oil leaks because it will end up being very costly, right? So. Let's start this uh, vehicle back up, and as you can see, it started right back up. And also, that's it. Straight to the point, right? And all that over, you know, let's say five minutes of testing, I was able to diagnose this vehicle and say that it was lack of compression. And yeah, that's it. Straight to the point, right? So, if you're interested in in the um, seeing these tools, you know, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. You know, hit me down in the comment section if you want to see more tool review and you know probably to explain things a little better and maybe we can take it from there so take it easy.